for this problem? Given cosine of 2 theta equals 3 fourths and theta terminates in quadrant 3, find sine and cosine. So the one thing that you should obviously see is this is called the double angle identity of cosine. <coughs> so they're telling me this is my starting point. If you look on the board and your formula sheet, there are three formulas for the double angle identity of cosine. The question is, which one should I start with? Well, I need to find both sine and cosine, and it's not just uh, divided by 2, that would be incorrect. I have to use one of those identities. I'm not going to use the first one, because the first one says cosine of an angle squared minus sine of an angle squared. Now if you look at the bottom one, <coughs> it says 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. So let's write this down. Cosine of 2 theta. I can pick any double angle identity of cosine, and I'm choosing the last one. Class one, which one did I choose? The last one. <coughs> and I'll tell you why I picked the last one. I'm going to use my first puzzle piece, my first clue here. And every time I see cosine of 2 theta, what am I going to write? 3 over 4. So let's substitute it in. <coughs> and the reason why I did that is because when I pick this identity now, I can just actually just solve for sine. And as I write that for sine, I'm actually going to write it this way. This is a little bit more student friendly, isn't it? That's what we've been learning this past year. Sine squared theta basically means take sine of the angle and then square it. <coughs> the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to solve for sine of theta. Question is, what should I do first? Divide by negative 2, subtract 1, or take the square root? I subtract 1, so and so. What do you think I'm going to subtract over here? 4 over 4. 3 minus 4 is? Negative 1 4 equals negative 2 sine theta squared. Square root or divided by negative 2? Pay attention. Dividing by negative 2 is the same thing as multiplying by negative 1 half. Dividing by negative 2, notice that negative 2 is in the denominator, is the same thing as multiplying by negative 1 half. What does that look like? <coughs> My negative 2's cancel here. And the negative 2 in the relationship on the bottom is multiplication. So a negative times a negative is what? Positive. So this is not subtracting, it's multiplying. So you just multiply across, I get what? 1 8 equals sine of theta squared. Class, how do I get sine by itself? I'm going to take the square root of both sides. Be careful now. When I take the square root of both sides, this is going to be what? Plus or minus. So I have the square root of 1 over the square root of 8 equals now sine of theta. <coughs> Class, the square root of 1? And the square root of 8? 2 radical 2. I'm not going to leave that radical by itself, am I? I need to multiply by just the radical. Radical 2 over radical 2. Because essentially here I'm just multiplying by 1. <coughs> multiply across. Radical 2 times radical 2 is? Radical 4, which is 2, and then 2 times 2 is 4. Now you might be asking, is it both plus or minus? Well, which quadrant does our angle terminate in? Tell me the phrase. What do you know about quadrant 3? Sine is negative. My answer is 
sine of theta equals negative radical 2 over 4. Let's go ahead now and if you look back at what we were supposed to do, I've already used this puzzle piece. I've used this clue. I've just solved for sine. We need to do what now? Let's get cosine. Now let's think about this. This was the information they gave me with, so I had to start with a double angle identity. Does that mean I have to use a double angle identity to find the other cosine? No. Just think about the big picture. We started drawing with triangles, and now we're using identities. Partner A, tell partner B, what's an easier identity to use? We're trying to find cosine. Jessica? I have sine, and I'm trying to find cosine. Can I take the reciprocal of this to find cosine? Do I want to introduce the quotient identity and use tangent? Because there's no tangent. Should I use a Pythagorean identity? Yes we are going to use a Pythagorean identity. Over here we used a double angle identity. <laughs> Jessica, which Pythagorean identity are we going to use? <coughs> sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta. Equals? One. So now I'm just going to do a substitution. So here I have negative radical 2 over 4 squared plus cosine theta squared equals 1. Remember, this means multiply it by itself. I don't normally like to do this, but I just want to make sure I'm on the same page. Just running it out twice. Class, what's a negative times a negative? Okay. Radical 2 times radical 2. Okay. Radical 4 is? Okay. And 4 times 4 is? 16. Plus cosine of theta squared equals 1, which is going to be? 16 over 16. What do you want to do next? So these will cancel. We're left with cosine of theta squared equals what? Okay. Don't simplify. I know you're tempted to. Square root. Cosine of theta equals plus or minus the square root of 14 over the square root of 16. Class is cosine positive or negative in quadrant 3. No. No what? It's negative. <laughs> square root of 14 over 4. So let's review. In this problem, they gave us a double angle identity of cosine. Use that. Of the three that I picked, you could have chose either this one or 2 times cosine squared theta minus 1. Substitute in the information we have, which is the 3 fourths, and this is all algebra. Take this answer, you can use the Pythagorean identity and get cosine. We found both sine and cosine with our given information.